hello friends welcome to the, my youtube channel in this video i will show you how to rotate the image using opencv function in our qt application so let's start just simply first of all add one spin box control to get the angle value okay set the minimum or maximum value of angle also you can set the font properties change the object name let's create one event value change event we rotate this one image our which is stored in our global image variable we use or rotate this image okay so take one angle value variable Okay, now get the center point of your image. To get the center point, you just have to divide by your divide by two of your image width and height now let's take one rotated matrix rotated image get rotation matrix to the function you here you have to pass your center point then angle value and scale factor okay now take the bounding box of your rotated bounding box of your image pass the argument pass your global image here then pass your angle to bounding rect to f now let's adjust the rotated image Change here width to height and here course to rows. Okay, let's call the open transform function. Here pass your source image. Now let's take one image. Let's to store result. We store our result in destiny image. Pass your rotated image. Now pass your bounding box size and drawing type. Also, you can set the scalar. Okay, now let's display the image in our label control. So just simply call the destination image and convert cv map to pixmap and display use the, this pixmap pixmap variable to display the image okay now let's run the application okay you here we have to pass the size of image okay now let's run the application again okay so just simply rotate the image
you can see the image rotation if you add a negative signs then image will rotate in clockwise you can see the image is rotated in clockwise negative value means image is rotating in, uh, rotating in clockwise manner and positive value means image is rotating in, rotating in anti clockwise manner So I hope you will understand and please drop your comment if you have any question and thanks for watching my video. Please like my video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and share with your friend. Thank you.